Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Destiny 2 Beyond Light video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another cool exotic guide for you. Now, this one is going to be for the brand new grenade launcher called the Salvation's Grip. This is a step-by-step -step guide, so relax, kick back, and enjoy. Here we go. Now, the first part of the quest step, you need to head into the annex and speak to the drifter. This will be ready for you once you complete the main story for Beyond Light. The Stasis Prototype Quest. This is the first part of the quest step to get the grenade launcher. Now, the first part of the quest step is rather simple. You just need to kill Fallen and Servitors on Europa. Pretty straightforward. Head into Europa, head into some public events or some locked sectors to get this part of the quest step done. As soon as you're done with all of those quest steps, you will get the next part updated. As you can see right here, it's called the Stasis Prototype. Now, this part of the quest step is actually the same part of another quest as well. That quest is called Reclaiming Europa. Now, you should see something pop up right there on the screen. That is how you can complete Reclaiming Europa. Now, you want to head in over to Varix in that mission and you want to pick up Reclaiming Europa. This is, of course, after you have beat the main story to Beyond Light. The same thing goes with this exotic quest. Like I said before, they intertwine. So make sure you pick up both of these quest steps so you can get both of these done as well. So, the very next part of the quest after you have reached both part of the quest step in both of those missions will lead you to the Priestess. Now, the Priestess is a very challenging battle, but you shouldn't have too hard of a time with her. Just use your abilities, make sure you don't die. <laughs> That's pretty straightforward, right? Take her out and you are pretty much done with both parts of said quest, this exotic quest, and of course, reclaiming Europa. Like I said, they both are intertwined. It's kind of hard not to do one without the other because you need to complete all three of those different quests in order to complete this exotic step. So once you do that, as soon as you beat the mission, it will update. And the next part of the quest is the stasis prototype. Here you need to eliminate combatants with or affected by your new stasis abilities. So pretty much use your abilities. Now what I did is I went into one of the public events. Just anyone, doesn't matter which one you choose. And what you're going to do is go in, go up to the flag, pop the flag, use your abilities, take out whatever enemy is there, and then you want to come right back into the same drop point. But it's kind of been patched where if you do that, the countdown timer will still be going and you actually can't hit it twice. So what I suggest you to do is don't go into the same spot, but rather go into one that's located not too far away from it. And as soon as you load in, just load right back into where the public event is taking place and watch for repeat. Boom, you have a whole nother set and a load of abilities ready to go. You can either complete that public event before the countdown timer comes or you could just go ahead and move to another map and do the same thing. At least that was what I did and I was able to knock this part of the quest step out in about five minutes. So yeah, it's really not that hard to complete this part of the quest step so long as you know what you're doing. So, once you are done with that and you reach 100% with stasis abilities, kills, grenades, and all of that good stuff, on your screen, the quest will update like you're about to see right here. The stasis prototype is done, and now you need some skiff codes acquired. Now, this is going to be acquired in a lost sector. Now, this lost sector is going to be located right here on Europa. Don't worry, I'll take you straight in there so you don't get lost. Alright, from here, we're going to load in on Europa at Karen's Crossing. We basically are going to head on over to the location that I showed you 
right here on the map a little bit earlier. So we're gonna head on over here, but I wanna make sure, like I said, that you don't get lost. So not gonna cut away or anything like that. What we're gonna do is we're basically gonna hit this flag, you know, basically that's what I was doing. And we're gonna jump right down here. I'm gonna show you one more time right here on the map. There we go. And let's jump on down. Now right here, inside is where the lost sector is going to be located all right we're going to head inside underneath and there's going to be a little cave right to the right of it a little crevice a little void that's why it's called that so let's head in and let's get this done like i said make sure you don't get lost here it is ladies and gentlemen head right inside of here head on down and here it is, the console void. Now this is a lock sector of course, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna clear out all of these enemies. Now, once you've cleared out the enemy and take out the boss, then there's gonna be a second wave of enemies that come in. Now, after you take out those second wave of enemies, the wall will come down and then you'll be able to get those skiff codes from the spider associate so there it is and here's the guy now after we finish talking to that guy the spider associate and we get those skiff codes we need to head back into the annex and talk to the drifter I'm going to talk to the drifter and we're going to have the next part of the quest step update that is called the stasis prototype Hey, Drifter, you got something to say? Putting stasis into a grenade launcher, huh? <laughs> Wish I'd thought of that. But you didn't, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take that, and I'm gonna head right over here to the stasis prototype quest, the next part of the quest step. Now, since you have that in hand, well, we know what that's gonna turn into. Our lovely exotic is sitting right over there. Thought it was gonna be some huge enemy? Well, not yet. So we're going to head over here, we're going to check off all of these different hacks, four of them, basically we're going to jack this, steal that, and boom, there we have it ladies and gentlemen, you have the Salvation Grip Exotic Grenade Launcher, just like that, but it's not done, not done just yet. We gotta escape and get out of here. But before we do, let's have a look at the Salvation Grip Grenade Launcher. Comes with the intrinsic perk called Cairo Kenny. Well, you press down R2 to hold down that charge. You release and fire the weapon projectile, create stasis crystals that will slow down near enemies. It freezes them just like your grenades, except for it's in a grenade launcher. Pretty cool. Haven't tried it out in PvP just yet, but in PvE, it's amazing. The next part of the quest up, well, you're going to have a little chance to try that because there's going to be plenty of ammo boxes around where you can try out your newly acquired exotic grenade launcher. So have some fun. Shoot it once, shoot it twice, hold it down, charge it up, you know, play with it. Have fun with it. This is what this part of the quest step is about. But there is one more thing you need to do. You're going to have to take out all of these enemies. So have some fun, take them all out, but you do have a little backup on the way. And that is pretty cool. So let me go ahead and throw on my shades because we're done with this part of the quest step. Now, once you are finished with this mission, now it will update once again and you need to head back into the end. But hey, we already have our exotic, so we're pretty much are good to go. Head back into the drifter, hit X to accept, and you're done with this exotic quest, ladies and gentlemen. It will update for you, let you know that it is done, and you also will get a nice, lovely triumph as well. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another full step-by-step -step quest guide right here at Carpool Gaming for Destiny 2 Beyond Light. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Now, if you are new to this channel, Hello and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpo Gaming. I upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guides, glitches, and a whole lot more. And as soon as I get my PS5, I will be doing Zer Live from PS5. So hopefully, stay tuned for that for Friday. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and your support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.